Y'all ready? Because y'all got to keep in mind, I am still on vacation. I am still on vacation. I'm in the process of adding someone to this live. It is saying that it's adding the person, so give it a second. Uh, say, <laughs> no answer. Really? All right. Send the request to me, John. Send the request to me. There it goes. All right. Here we go. See if it let me add you this way. What's up with y'all anyway? How y'all doing today? Did y'all enjoy the interview the other day? I did. Got me blocked. That's okay. I done had worse. Come on up in here. Tea lady ready. Got a mimosa this morning. No answer. What's going on? Hey. Send it again to me, baby. Make sure you're in a good spot where your reception is good because it's not letting you come through. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Send it again, John. Hey. Apparently, there's some issues going on in Houston. It is a beautiful Saturday. Yes, it is. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So apparently, from what I've been hearing, the issue is a little bit bigger than just Bruce. Hey! Send it again, John. Hey, hey, hey. John, I want to start my live over for your phone. What's going on with that metro you got going on over there? Hey, hey. What's up, Stephen? What's going on with you, baby? Hey, hey, hey. Well, I'm going to try to invite you back on, see if that works. Hey. Let me try to add him. Hold on. Oh, uh, let's see. It's not letting him join, so y'all hang tight. Good morning, Angela. How you doing, baby girl? Stay with me, y'all. Trying to get John on. Hey. John, do me a favor, baby. Go out of the live and try to come back on. It may let you down. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm gonna do this. Hey, who all doing this right here? I know y'all doing it. Y'all ain't gotta be from the A to do this. Hey, hey, what's up, Bree? Hey, try it again, John. Come on, baby. We waiting on you. You all up and through my inbox. Talking about you got something to add. You better come on and add it to it. What's up, babe? Don't be putting my business out there. 
What's up, Angie fan? I, spe I see you in here today. Angie, like, I ain't gonna miss this one. I am not gonna miss it. I wanna, I wanna view it live. <laughs> Come on, John, baby. I need you to go off the live and try to send your request again. Hey, somebody call John Seeger and help him because I'm not getting his request. And I would hate to go off this live and try to get him on that way. Hey. Hey, I didn't know you. Look, Quentin, you in, you in Houston too? Huh. Are you bold enough to join my live? Send me, send me a request. Are you bold enough to talk for Houston? Since, since John over there struggling. Because apparently there's some issues going on. I'm trying not to spill it for y'all, but I, I would like for Houston to speak for themselves. I'm not gonna start my facial expressions. Come on. I need to request. What's up, Dominique? What's going on, baby girl? Hey. What's up, H Town? Y'all doing it big out there, but I see y'all got some issues. From my understanding, y'all got issues with step instructors. Is that what the issue is? So it just wasn't Bruce. It's step instructors as a whole. Don't let me spill y'all tea for y'all now. Come on. The tea lady is trying to hold it in. Hey, cook. I'm not getting this request from John. What's going on? Somebody call John. They have a They got a big problem. They can't even join my line. What is the problem? Houston? Right, Sandra, y'all have been all up in my inbox. Uh-uh. It's the stepping instructors that come here. They come up in our parties, disrespecting the hand game, the hand dance community and the swing dance community. Don't nobody want to speak for Houston? Houston, where you at? Okay, well, Houston is quiet. Is anybody from Houston want to join this live? Because John ain't joined. John, John. Hey, Chase. Chase, are you available to talk real quick until we can get John on? Let me see if I can get him. I know, right, Carlton? They don't want to join. Mm. I'm trying to get him on. Y'all know what's going on with John's phone. Mm. Oh. You need to have somebody speak that believes that. Listen, that's what I was told. I was told that was the problem in Houston, that they have an issue with you stepping instructors coming in there trying to take over. That's what I was told. So it was bigger. They crickets now. Why y'all quiet? Here's your platform. It wasn't the fact that it was Bruce that wasn't the problem. I'm here for it. Y'all in the tea ladies inbox. I'm right here. John, hello. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Who got John's phone? You know what? Don't worry about it. I got two phones. Hold that phone. Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute. I always got a solution to it. I'm going to call John on his phone. One sec. Y'all give me just one moment. Y'all got time for it. Let me give me some thumbs up. Y'all got time for me to call him. Y'all got time for me to call John real quick. Who on it? Who better call John? Because I need to figure out why it's just so hard for him to call me. One second. Let me say, nah. Okay, here we go. My dog even crying. Don't cry, baby. We're going to get it worked out. Uh, John? Yes? Why can't you join my live? 
I'm having some connection problems. I've been trying to get on for the last 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm trying to, I don't know why it's not letting me connect. So I just screenshot it to you so you can see what it's talking about. But I'm trying. Trust me, I'm trying to get on there. Can y'all hear John, or do I need to bring the speaker closer to the phone? Because you can stay on the phone. You want to just stay where you are and don't worry about the live? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Let me go bring the speaker closer. One second. Okay. It is no problem. Okay. You can speak so they can hear you. Can y'all say something, John? How y'all doing out there? Can y'all hear John? Let me have some thumbs up if y'all can hear him. Say something again. We need answers. We need answers. Can y'all hear him okay? Let me get some thumbs up. Make sure my phone is turned all the way up. My phone is turned all the way up. I have the 10. Y'all should be able to hear. I paid enough for it. Can't hear him. Make sure your phone is turned all the way up. John, make sure your phone is turned all the way. I need everything on full black. Everything on all cylinders. Yes. Everything. We all, we all the way up. We all the way up. Okay, everybody got thumbs up. All right. So, we okay, LaQuentin, he's from Houston as well. So, he's saying answers to what? All right. So, John, you saw the interview that I did with Brooks. And after that interview, people were all, you know, a lot of people were concerned um, A about Bruce. One sec. Yeah. One second. Yeah, I saw I saw the interview. That was no um, shade. I left my refrigerator open. I'm sorry. People are concerned a little bit about Bruce, just period. And this is no shade toward Bruce because I've been blocked. So if y'all can if y'all steal a Bruce's friend, please let him know that I am concerned about him. Okay. So, as a result of that, I uh, just want to bring everybody up to date. You kind of chimed in, some more people from Houston chimed in and said, well, there's more to the story. Not really so much as Bruce's story, but there's more to the Houston scene relative to stepping or steppers as a whole. Yes. Am, I, am I right so far? Yes, that's very correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Bruce just happened to be the one that got caught in the crossfire. Am I right so yeah. far? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. If you want me to go ahead and elaborate on it, I can. Go ahead. I'm ready. Can y'all hear him? So, okay. <clears throat> so, because I want to make sure I'm clear. Let me clear my throat because I want to make sure y'all see what I'm saying through the phone, you know. I want to make sure y'all can hear me real clear. The thing is, down here in Houston, we have two two dances. I'm going to start all the way from the beginning if I can. Uh, we have two dances. We have Swing Out and uh, Houston Two-Step. So I've been dancing about 10 years. We already kind of had a dance scene down here. I would say about a few years ago, we started getting a few people wanting to do uh, stepping down here. Cool. We have no problem with that because the, the way Houston is, we invite everybody in. We all dance to the same music. We all you know, show love to each other. The way we do it, you come to one of our sets, I think that's yeah, a set or an event. If you come there, we'll even acknowledge you as an instructor. We'll let you get on the mic. You can, you can promote your event. We try to show love to everybody. The problem that has been happening and that, ha that started off a few years ago, we would have certain people would come in and they would say, well, you know, step in this, you know, it's a way of life. We don't take over and you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and ain't nobody going to be two-stepping the swinging no more. And so now you created this type of animosity amongst the community when you already had a community established where everybody danced together. You know, and also you had certain, uh, like, people like instructors that would say, okay, uh, you know, we don't have no drama in the stepping community. That's why everybody want to learn how to step instead of swing out two-step. You know, these are things that I would hear, and I would hear often. It was said to my face. So it's baffling to me that people get upset when I say this, you know. But the thing is, when we get closer to this actual situation, because I don't, I don't, I've never met Bruce personally. I know uh, Sean, you know, I'm cool with her, or whatever. But I never met 
uh, Bruce personally, so I don't speak on a guy personally if I really don't know him like that. But I want to talk about the situation. This is not the first time this has happened down here. We've had several instructors come down to events uh, and turn their nose up. You know, they walk in, they got the little group, they don't speak to nobody. They don't, they don't speak to the person that's even uh, hosting the event. They disrespect our DJs. You know, they come in, they want to change everything, they want to change the music. And see, my thing is, I'm cool with people that step. I'm cool with a lot of people. It's not about the dance. It's about the individual. It's that arrogance that's sticking into me and a lot of other people in Houston. You know, I'm cool with a lot of, I'm cool with, with Drew. That's my boy. I'm cool with Snoop. I'm cool with a lot of people that step. So it's not about the dance. It's the individual that's coming down here. And my thing is, and what I want to get out there is, with this particular situation, I just think it had came to a head and it just happened to be these two individuals involved. Uh, so that, that's that's my my opinion on the situation. But I think now, because Steppers have such a large platform, now this came to the forefront, and now you guys are getting to see what we've been dealing with for the last three, four years. Okay, you know? so let me let me just say this. And it is John Seekers that I'm speaking with. Um, typically on this show, I always tell people, and, and this is, you can always say, um, I respectfully uh, decline. That's so much shade right there. I can respectfully decline to answer this question. But can you, please, you can say this. I'm going to ask you this. And you can say Latika or T-Lady. Just say T-Lady because people usually don't say my name correctly. So just say T-Lady. I don't want to answer that. Can you please give me an instructor that has told you any of these negative things that have given you uh, any of this negative energy that you are speaking of? Uh, well, one instructor, and I don't really see him. I don't even know if you know him like that. But one instructor uh, was Noble. Well, that's what they that's what they called him. That was his name, Noble. Uh, he the one that told me actually me and a friend from my face that you know Chicago stepping coming down here and taking over. There ain't nobody gonna do swing out of two step no more. And the funny thing is, he's not the only. He was the first instructor, but it was more people in the community that was saying that. And that's why I don't understand when everybody act like they don't, they never heard this before down here in Houston. You know, when it's when I when I because I made a post about this recently, and a lot of people was in their feelings. But see, I'm the one that's gonna tell the truth, and nobody else do. You so know? this arrogance that you guys are speaking of. Um, do you think that's the arrogance that perhaps, and I know you can't speak for Sean, you can't speak for Bruce, you can't speak for those per people. Do you think this is the arrogance that perhaps that was displayed at the door uh, of the event that Bruce possibly gave Sean that night? I think uh, in, in that situation, again, because I'm only going to speak on the situation itself, so whether it be Bruce or Sean or two other people, the situation, I can understand it from both standpoints. You know, I think that uh, I'm sure she had probably experienced it before. And this, okay, this is the last straw. I'm not going to deal with it no more. You know, at the same time, I understand his, his situation and his point of view. If as an instructor, we do go a lot of places and a lot of people do let us in free uh, just based on who we are out of, uh, you know, what we did or just who we are in the community. So, and also from what I caught from that, and they both even said this, uh, you know, he was looking for Pete. So he thought this was, you know, maybe he, maybe he thought it was Pete event. And they have a they have a mutual agreement on that. You know, when I come to your spot, you come to my spot. I have those type of agreement with instructors. So I understand that on his point, but I really think it was just a misunderstanding that went way too far. Now, one thing I will say, if you come to my spot, and it's an hour left. I don't care if I'm charging forty dollars to the door. I'm like, no, I'm not even at the door. No one's at the door at my spot the last hour. Just being, just being honest with you, nobody's at the door in the last hour. So if you walk in, that's cool. As long as you carry yourself with respect, as long as you respect the establishment, you respect my DJ, we have no problems, you know. But I feel like because of all the different things that's been happening before, that may be why. He got that kind of response, you know. But I also, I mean, be, be a little bit more honest with you. 
I also would have left that situation right there at the venue. I probably wouldn't have went on Facebook and made a post about it because I believe when you do that, you invite a whole lot of people that know nothing about the situation. Even if people that I know call me and tell me, I'm going to address each individual situation. I can't put it out there for the whole world to see because this could possibly damage this person's reputation. And this is also the reason why I'm not really big on dropping names because I'm not here to slander anybody because I'm an instructor. So I don't want to hurt this man's following. I don't want my following hurt either. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I have to agree with that. Yeah, the situation was already addressed at the the venue. Let's drop it. Let's leave it right there. Well, I I would would love to agree with that. Um, This, however did take legs and wings and and things uh, on his own. own. I I don't know why. I think maybe some of his followers maybe taken to Facebook first. I'm not sure how it even initially went to Facebook. Uh, But once it goes to Facebook, of course, it's going to open up an airway for people like myself, uh, people like... I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna jump on it like Oprah. I mean, I'm gonna jump on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? Hey, hey, hey. You know? And I got. We love you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what I do. So, um, but in an effort to try to steal, I'm gonna bring it to you, but in the effort to try to fix it or at least get the information out there, that's what we're going to try to do. Now, as another little part to this, uh, do you teach stepping at all? No. You stay in your lane. Yeah, well, I've uh, recently, I would say within the past two to three years, uh, I've learned stepping. I've been, uh, you know, learning a little stepping going around because the thing is, I really want, we all black, we all we all do urban dances. I really want the communities to come together, okay. you know. So why, why, why can't I go to a stepping event and swing out a two-step up? Uh, why can't I go to a swing out event in Chicago step? You know, we all, it, it, I, I look at it like this. We all have these, what I consider native dances. Okay. You got Houston, Houston two step, DFW swing out. You got a Kansas City two step. You know, you got Chicago step. Chicago has the largest platform out of all of the native dances. Correct. And I respect, and I respect that to the fullest. Mm-hmm. But one of the things I also realized is it's also, kind of closed kept right it's, it's, it's kind of cornered off to where we don't want anybody else to come in and my mm-hmm. thing is why you know we should all be uplifting people we should all be inviting dancers we should all dance together you know i don't i don't understand that i made this comment one time before and i'm cool with pete you know me and him talked a few times in atlanta i made this comment on facebook why we can't put out the categories in the world's largest when i tell you i got attacked more by my own people than people in Chicago or people in Atlanta than anywhere else. Really? My own people. I'm sorry, my they jumped all over it. My thing is, if they if if, if Chicago step and have this wonderful platform, right? Mm-hmm. Let's lift everybody up. Let's lift everybody up. We all a part of we all a part of the same culture. Because one thing I know for sure, they ain't trying to let us on dancing with the stars. That's true. Right? That's true. They ain't trying to let us on that. So let this be that dancing with the stars. Open the door. Let us in there. And I promise you're going to get a show. I promise you. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I just don't think Chicago, I don't, and then I can't speak for Chicago because I'm not from Chicago. So I'm not trying to speak for the culture. I'm not trying to do any of that. I just don't think they're ready for that. I don't, I don't think, and I don't know whether they ever will be. I, you know, I think if that's something that you want to open up, you will probably have to start your, another platform for that. I just don't, I just, yeah. I just, I just don't, in our lifetime, I don't see an event that will be open, not that event. I don't think the world's largest stepping contest will ever be opened up to all the different genres. Not that. It would have to be, I think uh, Harvey, uh, was it Harvey Dobbs that does the champion of the dance floors? D- yeah. Yep. Much love and respect to Harvey. I competed that last year. Much yeah. Much love to Harvey. That's an awesome event. Yeah, something like that. I don't. I don't. I don't see the world's largest ever being opened up to all of them. And you know, I'm glad you didn't take it uh, in a bad way and say, "Well, you know, but you know, I just don't ever see it happening." Um, I do appreciate you for taking a positive stance. Uh, there were some things that did come uh, back to me from some of the stepping instructors that do travel to Houston uh, and said that a lot of the swing out. Uh, 
instructors are now trying to get into stepping uh, instructing and they have not, not been formally trained on stepping and that's causing a problem as well. What is your opinion of that? Okay, well, the way the way I the way I look at that, and to be honest with you, like I said, I've I've been in Chicago a few times. I've had one on one uh, with a lot of people that I'm cool with, you know. And 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 again, y'all, you correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, what's happening is you have people that's really not even from Chicago that come to the South or come to Houston, and they they know the people really don't know. So what happens is these people get with these certain instructors and they teach them uh, their way or make their style unique to them. And now you have a whole bunch of people that's taken on that and they teaching with this person on particular way of teaching. And what in, in actuality is not honored in the place where the dance comes from. I'm going to tell you, I was at the 50 yard line, I want to say last year. And a brother told me straight up, man, everybody can't come to here. He said, John, you ain't here. They showing you respect. They showing you love. Everybody can't come here. They'll get ran out of here because they ain't doing the dance the way it's supposed to be done. And my thing is, I, re I, res I respect that because, you know, people cling tight to their culture. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the Chicago 7 community have worked hard to be where they at. So my thing is, I really can't really get too deep into that mm -hmm. because, because I feel like What's going on? In order for me to really get too, real, real deep into that, I would really have to be real deeply embedded in the Chicago stepping culture to say that the people down here are teaching it wrong or teaching it right. You, I love I that. Only, I love that you yeah. said that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been. Yeah. Oh my god. Y'all, give him some thumbs up for that. Seriously, I, people are giving you hand claps. You just said the magic word, culture. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Thank you, because people are just oh, yeah. teaching. Oh, yeah anything of something what they see and have never even been to Chicago, A, not even trying to figure out what the culture of this dance is. They're just teaching it for a quick 15, 20 bucks per class and then they're doing privacy for $50. But they're from Chicago and whatever. Yeah, anyway, my thing is, is, go ahead, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real honest with you. I had a totally, and this is when I started learning, I had a totally different perspective of the dance when I went to Chicago. Totally different. And I encourage anybody, mm -hmm. if you learn stepping and you haven't been to Chicago, you're missing a real treat. Yeah. You're missing a real treat. Yeah. When I went to the 50 yard line and I saw the stuff that them cats was doing. Yes. And I, like, like I said, a lot of them, I've seen them, you know, I know whatever, but it's people I don't even know. And these cats cutting up. And the funny thing is, a lot of the moves are interchangeable. A lot of the moves are moves that I've, I've done in, in other dances as well. Yes. And But the people are not taught that. You yes. feel what I'm saying? Like, right. the people don't know that because we have to, in certain areas, they want to make sure, okay, this is a major difference between this dance and that dance, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But in actuality, it, it can have a lot of similarities. So, especially if you're an instructor and you haven't been to Chicago, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to just... Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You're exactly... But you're right. And, and it's really unfortunate. And so what's happening is we have a lot of garbage. We have a lot of garbage in the stepping community. And I'm sure it's in your communities and all of the other ones. Um, and so you have a lot... Because you have so much garbage, it's, it's causing some of the people that are re that's really true to this dance and some of the legends and some of the folks that have been dancing 20 or 30 years, they're getting frustrated with where the dance is going. They literally sit back and look at the dance and go, what in the world are y'all doing? Like, really? And so because of that, they start to not come out or they stop instructing. And so that's doing all of the people that really want to learn this dance an injustice, but you have to understand it's like, I know, I know, I know. But y'all got to come back out. And it's like, well, no, we're not going to fight with y'all. No, not fight with us, literally. But you got to, come on, help us. We know we didn't know. You know, right. we just Googled, you know, stepping class in our area. And this is what they taught us. You know what I mean? My instructor, it, you know, was Cheryl. But, you know, I was going to other classes and they told me to push off on my four, like, really hard. And that was my reset number. Mm -hmm. How many blinks was that? 
That's literally what I was told. You understand what I'm saying? So until you know and start to get to someone that really knows this dance and really can teach you the culture of the dance, which takes you forever to really get, you don't know. And so the dance just gets so convoluted and nasty and you start to all oh, this and folks, listen, John, I can appreciate, I can appreciate what you're saying. Houston, listen, whatever the issue is, is going on in Houston. I don't think personally, instructors, if you are coming to Houston, if you're giving these folks some type of attitude, stop. Because apparently John is saying that they, they, they're feeling, they are feeling. He's not really saying the names. I don't know why he won't. I wish he would. I wish he would just say, listen, when Kevin Dockery come to Houston, he gives some attitude. I'm not saying Kevin is, but I know I can say Kevin's name. <laughs> Kevin Dockery come to Houston and he have a straight up attitude. He think he all that. If it's Kevin that's doing it, maybe Kevin's not realized that he's doing it. Please stop. These people are feeling some kind of way. Don't do it. Like, t communicate. Three. We just we just want a little respect when you come now. I promise we'll show you the most love. And the thing is, you know, and I, I will say this, that there have been some other instructors that come down here because I want to make sure I shine a light on the positive, too. We have some other instructors that come down and they, they cool. I mean, and they come to the spot, they jam with us, they have a good time, and they live here. So, you know, I don't, it's, it's not, it's not all bad, but we got to just clear everything up. We got to get the the, uh, the bad apples out of the bunch. And, and another thing I want to make sure I clear up too, you know, just talking about the whole culture of stepping, because I really believe, me, I look at good dances. So mm -hmm. if you could dance, you could dance. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like there is a certain authenticity mm -hmm. of the people that come from Chicago. But that does not mean that I don't respect the dancers that, that do Chicago stepping that don't come from Chicago. And, and I believe you on that. Real, 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 real clear on that. My boy Drew could go. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He could go. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, and I know you're from Detroit. So, you know, I feel like if you could dance, you could dance, but you still have to respect the culture and go along the guidelines of the culture. Correct. And when you come down here to Houston, when you come down to Houston, you need to come with some respect. Don't talk about our DJs. Don't talk about our venues. And introduce yourself to the host of that event. And we're going to show you love. Yeah. Anyway, we got to get you down here. Do we I have to sip tea together? I do got I have Texas tea, love. I got that Texas let me just, let me clear this up right now. Do I have to pay at the door? Uh, if I do, just let me know. Pay. Let me know ahead of time. I ain't texting nobody. I just need to know ahead of time because. I... What you can do is text me. I'm going to come to the door and I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will. Let me say this. What, wait, 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 what time? What, what time are you gonna come? Is it gonna be the last hour? Are you? I'm just. I just oh, want to know. Did he just throw shade at me? <laughs> no, I get that. I'm gonna add you in a second. So stay tuned, Chase. Don't move. I'm gonna add you in a second. So don't call me, Chase. Um, listen. Um, Chase wants to come to Houston. He said he'll be willing to come to Houston. Uh, and show some love to Houston. So that's wonderful. That's one of our legends. So thank you so much for that, Chase. Um, so we're going to add Chase to the live. So you go hang your phone up. Thank you so much, John, for adding that. Y'all show some love. Let me see some hearts for John. Thank you for letting us know what's going on in Houston. So we're going to try to fix this, whatever this issue is, with the hand dance community, the swing dance community of Houston, with the steppers. Fix it. We don't. We don't want that. We we love y'all. We want this dance community. We see y'all all the time. We don't want that. So let's fix that. All right. We love you, John. Fix your phone. Love, love. I, let's get I a real. It, love. All right. And we I love you. We changed, we, I think we made a major difference today. So I hope so. It. I hope so. His last name is Six. Say your last name is S I E G A. -R. Say your last name. S I G E A R S. Sigurds. Sigurds. And also, if you could tell uh, Cass, if he holler at me, I promise I'm gonna show him the most love. We're going to take care. You see, what, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to take care. Uh, We're going to We're gonna take care. My God. I drive them around everything. Just fly down here. I got the rest. You do you, y'all see that? Do y'all see that love? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Let's bring Chase on. Chase, send me an invite. Love you so much, John. Talk to you soon. Love you too, sweetie. Talk Bye. To you. I'm going to hold you to that too, by the way. Bye. Oh, yeah. Write it down. <laughs> All right, baby. Thank you. All right, love. All right, bye.
All right, Chase, send me a request again. Because Chase straight called me like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So we're going to bring... Oh, I forgot I had... Wasn't that great? So we're going to get get Chase on here. I think Chase... Uh-oh. I think Chase had something to say. L.A. Chase had something. That was nice, right? I thought that was really nice. He said what he needed to say. He said what Houston's issue was, what respect. And so they had, they had issues with the stepping um, instructors coming down. They're feeling like they just getting ready to take over. You can't come down to no, it's like coming to somebody's house, moving their furniture around. You can't do that. You can't do that. So hold on, hold on. All right, all right, let's see. All right, so let's say, let's add Chase. All right, so I mean, you just can't do that. So I hope that fixed that. I got to get it done, girl. Tanya, I got to get it done. All right, so we trying to add Chase now. So hopefully let us add Chase. Yeah, you got it. You can't do that. Just come down here right, honey. Come in folk house, act like you got some sense. Then my mom used to tell me, you don't go over that. First of all, I'm going to go over there asking for nothing. <laughs> all right, we added Chase on. It said it's adding. Ooh, honey, this mimosa is feeling something nice, honey. What's up, Bray girl? I can't wait to see your shoes for the world's large because I know they're going to be cute. I already know it, huh? Chase is saying he's trying to add it. What's up, Bobby Taylor? What's going on, baby? Hey, Cheryl. How you doing, boo? It's trying to add Chase. Why are they adding Chase? Well, let's see. I'm going to try it a different way. Hold on. Maybe I turn it this way. Hey, Drew. How you doing, babe? I don't know why people have a problem adding themselves. Let's see. All right, guys. When you try to add yourself, turn your phone this way. Like, turn it horizontal. That may be the reason why you can't add yourself. So, let's see. Turn your phone horizontal. That may help. Y'all hang tight. More people are trying to come to the live. Hey. 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 Who we got? 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 Hey, who is that? It's Tracy. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Who in the world? I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> what happened? I done hit the wrong person. Oh, girl. What's that? <laughs> now, I got fierce hair now. Oh, oh my God. For the gods, what's going on? I, I took my hair down. That's what's going on. Well, it's cute, honey. I like it. You're, I was eating my breakfast. I didn't expect you to do this. I'm sorry. I think I hit the wrong thing. I was listening to this table. Do it. Bring it out. <laughs> Let it be told. <laughs> Share it. Well, I love it. Well, I, listen, what I mean, hey, we're just trying to get it done. We just want the community to be okay. So I think that was really good, right? It was excellent. I, I really do appreciate this information, you know, and uh, the people that you brought on are are excellent at, at their craft. Hey, Chase. Good. Hey, Keisha. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing your shoes. <laughs> I know. Trace, she, a girl, let me tell you something. You know, Brie always comes with some bad shoes. So, hey, mm -hmm. I love it. Well, mm -hmm. I love you, baby girl. Thank you for the support. We're gonna try to get we're gonna try to get Chase on the line. So Chase, please do and get me off of here. <laughs> oh, hang on. I love you, baby. Bye. Right, bye, -bye. <laughs> now let's try this again. Now you hang up and see if we can get Chase on here. They said that ain't Chase. That, no, that wasn't Chase. So let's try. Let me try Chase again. That's <laughs> so funny. All right, Chase. I see you now. Make sure you turn your phone to the side. Let's see. That was funny. Now that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, oh, that was funny. Mm -mm -mm. Now that was funny. I needed that laugh today. Hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. Chase. Mm -mm. Chase. Now I don't know why you can't come. Now, we got Trace on here with the big hair. Now, she was beautiful. Now, Chase, what's going on with you? 
It says Chase is very uh, That was funny. She said she would eat her breakfast, honey, and take her hair out. Really? Chase! I'm going to have to call Chase because Chase, I don't know what's going on with Chase. Let's call Chase, honey, because. Hold on. Let's just call him because. I don't know what's going on with Chase. Hold on, y'all. Let's call Chase. Yeah, Chase. Mm -mm. One second. Thank y'all so much for uh, hanging on with us. Right. They like, what in the world? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> So hold on, let's get Chase on the phone. She like, I didn't expect that to happen. All right, let's get Chase. Ooh, that was funny. Hey, Pete. I can't wait to talk to you, boo, because you know it's coming. Hello. Uh, L.A. Chase. What's up, baby? You steady pushing me. I try to push the little green button. It ain't coming on. I got my granddaughter here. She might show me how to do it. Are you turning? Are you turning your phone to the side? Are you turning your phone to the side, like hard? Yes, I am. And it still yep. won't let you connect. Nope, there's nothing happening. Nah, I ain't got no damn uh, apples and uh, iPhones and shit. I it's got a, Android four. It wouldn't matter. I'm, it shouldn't let you in. <laughs> but that's okay. They can hear you through the speaker. It's fine. It's fine. They can hear you. So they say Sorry. everybody is saying hey. Hey, so, hey, hey, but uh. I want to see your face. I want to see your expression. Maybe my uh, granddaughter is going to show me how to do that. So well, you, if you, again. So, okay, well, send the request again. He said, <laughs> why uh, you want to see my face? It's nothing exciting about my face. Yeah, girl, talk, shut up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Now, now do Did that you just now. call me a <laughs> Okay, well, send it again. Okay, what you, what up, what, just hang up this, right? Yeah, you can hang that up and just send a request again. We all going to sit here and wait on him. Well, bye. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me tell you something I ain't going to do is spend all my Saturday. Okay, there he is. Let me see. All right, let's see if it's going to work this time. That is too funny. All right, let's see if it's going to work. <laughs> he said, yeah, punk, I want to see your face. Oh, that's just too funny. That's hilarious to me. All right, so somebody wants a recap. Who can do a recap? Keisha, you can type. You can type. Uh, he said, she said, you just slow. <laughs> Don't you be talking about L.A. He'll cooking, making meat or something. It's still not adding him. Really? Lord Jesus. It should let him add. Everybody else is being added. Why he can't be added? Lord Jesus. Maybe if I turn my phone this way. Let me try to turn it this way. Let me see. I'll hold my phone in my hand. No. I can't do it that way either. I have to keep it this way. So he Hold on. I'm trying to help him come on here. Hey, Mr. Martin. How you doing, sweetie? We're trying to bring, we're trying to uh, add Chase in. I don't know why his phone is not. He got a flip phone. That might be what it is. All right, he's trying it again, y'all. He is really trying to come on this live. So let's try it. Y'all, we're all going to send a whole bunch of hearts if he actually get through. Uh, this live. It's going to be so doggone exciting if Chase actually is able to connect to this live. I mean, oh my God. It's going to be so he got a next tip. Do they still make church phones? What's up, Carlton? How you doing, boo? Thank y'all so much for staying in here with me. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so very much. Adway, send me a request, baby, while we wait on him. Send me a request, Adwag. See if I can add you. Because I really think it's his connection because I think everybody else is able to connect except for him. So send me a request, Adwag. Flip-flop. Flip, what did you say? A rotor dial. Oh, they say got a rotor dial. 
Like you got to start over. Like you get all the way to the last summer, then mess it up. Yeah. Not good. Not good. Oh my God. Chase. I'm just going to call him because we can't, we can't be waiting. I ain't got all day. We calling him. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Okay, wait. Okay, we just don't call him. I hope he don't call me another punk. He might call me another punk again, y'all. He got a GI Joe phone. You have reached Chase Windy City Incorporated. All operators are busy at this present time. If you'd like to leave a message, please do so, and someone will get in touch with you as soon as possible. Remember, there is no job too big or too small. Just give us a call. Um, yes, this is, uh, Tika. Hello. Hey, baby. Hi. How are you? I can't get on. I keep pushing the button. Well, it's about a thousand people uh, trying to hear what you have to say. We all love you. Love, love you all back too, without a doubt. Well, he, they they said that you have a, a GI Joe phone. That's what Bree said. So when you see Bree, hey. when you see <laughs> Bree, make sure you hit Bree on the top of her head because that's what she just said. You got a GI Joe phone, and then somebody has said you got a roller phone, like them roll, like back in the day we had to like do the little roll phone. What they call a roller oh, yeah. dial? <laughs> yeah, 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 that phone. But uh, Bree, right? I got one of those too. Uh, I can tell her I can also drop it off the second floor and it still works. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, listen. What do you feel about what we just was talking about in the whole... First of all, let's go back. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I, I feel I feel my man when you say it that right there, you know, but then you got to you got to also look at it like this, too. You got a lot of people that are bringing these structures in without doing any background check. So you get, it's like going in the store, baby, and you know you still pay uh, gators and you still pay uh, feathers out there, you know, invitations. It all depends on which ones you want to put on your feet. Now, if you're going to put them invitations on your feet, you know they're going to care for less than a week. That's on you. You know, these these people in different states got to start doing their research. You know, stop thinking that you can go on YouTube and learn this dance and then get somebody in the community to teach and they don't even know the ins and outs. You know, the ins and, the ins and outs of the dance. But, yeah, I, I kind of feel this pain on that. You know, I mean, and I, and I like how the brother kept a lot of things out of his mouth. He didn't want to actually shit on nobody, you know. But me, me as Chase, I'm not going to bite my tongue and anything I say once, I say twice. And then I call that person out and put, a, put their ass on glass because you get a lot of times you have these brothers that's doing things wrong and they need to be exposed, you know? It's just as simple as that, baby. That's my take on that part there. Oh, you know? my God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Chase. Yes, ma'am. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I'm really ready to have this phone call with you today. <laughs> I don't. I was like today. I was gonna do like a, just a pleasant. I was gonna have a pleasant call. I was just gonna do something pleasant today. I, because the other day was oh, just. Yes. I I lost friends. I lost friends. Yes. I lost a friend the other day. I don't want to lose no more friends. And then people are like, "Okay, Tika, here we go." And where you go? I just, I, I just. How, how, how you lose a friend to what? How you wind up losing a friend? How did I lose a friend? Yeah. Well, I um, I just lost a friend, and I just I don't know how I lost a friend. Well, it was this whole keep it real situation. I allow people to keep it real. Just like yourself. You said, I want to keep it real. When people start keeping real, and then I ask questions, and they tell the truth, 
Then folk get all in their feelings. I don't want people to get in their feelings, Chase. And it seems like you're going to get in your feelings. I don't know. You know what? what Not you get in your feelings, but you're going to keep it real. And then other people going to get in yeah, their feelings. Well, 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 yeah. And then, and then you have to look at it like this, sweetheart. I mean, just look at it. If people are so used to somebody sugarcoating and buttering things up for them to accept it, then they're only fooling their damn self. If somebody comes to you straightforward, you know how we always have a tendency to say, man, just keep it real with me, man. Then the minute you keep it real with them, they can't take the pressure. Then they need to shut their damn mouth and don't ask for nothing real. Go on the phony side of the street. Over here, we keep it real over here. And uh, and like I said here, I, I would honestly say this to anybody that's out there, that when you hear things that doesn't actually uh, triple your ears for you, don't get upset. And I keep saying that over and over and over. Everybody glove is not going to fit your hand. So wear your own glove. Don't expect everybody glove to fit your hand. It don't work like that. So we're not going to be able to satisfy everybody out. And everybody is not going to be able to satisfy us. It's a true saying in life, sweetheart. If you want the truth, be able to deal with the truth. Don't open up a can of worms that you're not ready to look at. So the brother just saying what's on his mind out there. And I mean, yeah, I mean, keep it real, Tika. Um, if you were, if, if, it, if it came to you, and you were faced with that same situation, you were made, knowing you, you might have a million things to say. You might not get it all out, but you got a million things to say. Uh, that would be correct. Okay, then. Uh, or not. I mean, you have to learn what to say and what not to say. You got to pick your battles, baby. That's all. Correct. You, gotta, uh, you know, uh, and, and we keep talking about this stepping thing, like it's like, and I say it again. I mean, brother said it right. You know, the stepping community has taken off. It's gotten all new people. It's, it's growing and growing and growing. He spoke on once they have a contest with other dancers, and then it would not be called the world largest stepping set. This is a, a stepper. This ain't for uh, jitterbug and a. Uh, Two step or swings or nothing like that. If you want your set to grow like that, you want your dance to grow like that, then put it out there like that. Go out there and do the leg work like a lot of other brothers did. You, you're taking the platform of stepping and you want to introduce this other dancers to these other brothers out here. Yeah, to be totally honest with you, I do all those dances, but none of them that I love more than stepping. Right. I don't give a damn what it is. It, it's just. That's my preference, you know. Mm -hmm. It's what I grew up to, it's what I knew, it's what I learned to do. But I also learned how to do everything else. Those dances just don't appeal to me like that. It has no flair. It's not cool enough for me, you know. So that's, I don't want to go uh, get into a waltz contest or a jitterbug or a swing contest because it's not what I like. Mm -hmm. And it's not. Is that, and that, that should tell somebody something right there. If it's not criticizing the dance, it's not saying that the dance is not a good dance because our people are doing it. So when our people put our hands on anything, we bring the charm up out of it. I don't give a damn what it is. That's right. But, but it's not a platform big enough. The dance is not a big enough platform to be on the stage with the world largest because everybody's not doing it. We're not going to take to that like that. And if you look at the Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. if you look at a lot of Dancing with the Stars, a lot of your step of moves are in Dancing with the Stars. It's just that some people don't know how to execute it. Right. The way it would be in step. It. Right. Until we learn that right there, then we'll be okay. But that brother need not fear. They dance is the swing and the whatever the other two steps that they're doing, I mean, it's a beautiful dance. Don't get me wrong. But 
but it's not going nowhere too fast. It's got it's got a minute to go before everybody gravitates to it. Right. Right now they they gravitating to step. That's what they want to do. These people out here think about stepping damn this. Not all now. Like I told you before, I don't put everybody in the same boat. Right. But a, but a lot of people out here gravitate to stepping, even when they don't even know how to damn step. They're out there trying. That's right. Because so they gravitate to it. They ain't gravitating to no, uh, no two-step in the, mm-hmm. in the hand and the hand dance to swing out and all that. They're not gravitating to that. They're not right. doing that. You're right. You're, you're exactly right. How do you how do you feel? Well, you mentioned something about people need to do their research uh, regarding uh, bringing an instructor uh, to their cities. Um, when you say that, and you, how do I want to say this? When you have someone that perhaps has a resume or one they have put together. Okay, when you say when you say put together, we ain't talking about letting on paper. We talking about coming out your mouth. That's that's the only. Re- I don't see no instructor running up to nobody, going to nobody's city, saying, "But it's my resume. Check this paperwork out right here." They're saying out their mouth, you know. And then you know some teacher. And, and believe it or not, you kind of just really kind of hit it on the head. If all these instructors did have a resume, then maybe you can check their background. See, brothers are coming out here just spitting it out their mouth. Oh, I'm from Chicago. I'm an instructor. You don't know this person from a can of spray paint, and they're stepping up, and, and, you know, they're stepping to you talking about being an instructor. They're only being fooled because they know not, they know no better. They haven't been anywhere. They haven't been on the set. They don't know the the chick mans and the Dre's and the Correct. you know they don't know all, they they don't know all these people. Correct. So they only go they only go about what they think they know. But if they did have a resume, just say just say Donnie Davis came to Houston. Well, I'm Donnie Davis. Nobody really know him, but anybody else know him. Right. You know, nah, I'm Donny Davis, just what I do, woo, 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 woo. So you put it out there. Now, you got this resume. Now, go check his background before you talk spending your money to spend, send this person down there to stay for this flight for about $500, putting them in a hotel for a weekend. You just spend about eight or $900 for that little package right there just for a person to come down and don't know shit. Don't know no more than you do. Can't take you no farther than uh, uh, extended left or push out on four or whatever the case may be. He can't take you no farther than that because they don't know no better. But they, if he did have that resume, and you know all the cities that he done went to, you know all the venues that he done did, then maybe you could check your background like that. But see, but but see, that's where the that's where the concern has been. To be honest with you. Uh, and I've done a show on this. I've had Drew on a show. and We've talked about qualified to teach versus not qualified to teach God. We have talked about this and drilled it, drilled it, drilled it. We have somebody that's tuning in now and they said that they are new. Um, we've had, uh, and, and God, Lord, I don't want to beat this man up and I'm really not trying to. Um, but uh, when Bruce was on the show, there were some things that were said that he had been spitting out. And I can't, we can't confirm or deny that he actually was saying it. But it was some things that were said surrounding him that he had been saying as a part of his of his resume that he had won the world's largest five times. Um, he did say that he was not he had not said that he said that he had uh, competed five times. Who, who who would that be? I'm sorry, I had to take a sip right there because my throat my throat had got dry. <clears throat> I say, who would that be? Uh, that was uh, <clears throat> that was Bruce had said that he had competed five times and that he had actually never said that he had won five times. Who, 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 who did you say that was? Uh, that was Bruce Dyer. Oh, no, no. He ain't never won no five times. He ain't never. I don't think he ever won at all. To be totally honest with you. Oh. And, if, you know, he ain't never won at all. 
Oh, uh, you talking about my man? Yeah, now nah, I know who you talking about. I must have missed that part of the show, you know? Yeah, I must have yeah. came in on the ass end or something, the you ass, know? The ass end of it? Okay, my phone. My phone, I yeah. got weak. My phone trying to fall. It's a lot just happened. That just that statement alone made my phone weak. Uh, yeah, so, right. So, um, just with him making that statement, and that's something from my understanding that had been said as a part of his selling um that's a part of his selling tool that he had won the uh world's largest five times so if you are new uh, you are in an area now you look at this person's youtube videos and you see all these views um you look at their website i'm assuming he has a website that probably has all of these videos um and he looks well established you wouldn't know to you wouldn't as someone new, you couldn't look at that and say, I need to research him some more. Everything looks good from the outside looking in. Okay. Do you understand well, you what I'm saying? What? So you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just yeah. trying to. And, and Dominic Dow just came up with a, a great suggestion. There needs to be like an official uh, website that can, if somebody is new and wants to get into website, uh, I'm sorry, into stepping, they can go to this website. And it can list out, uh, I don't want to say service, uh, the certified ones, but like a, a reference spot uh, for the, um, the the steppers in their area or something. Right. I, I don't know. Right. Right. And, and, let, and let me say this right here, just to, just to make it totally clear with anybody out there. Just because you don't win a goddamn world largest you on the steppers contest, don't make you the greatest teacher in the world. Don't this mean that you know what you're doing because you, you know, to me, to me again, I say to me, I'm going to always say me because I'm not going to speak for the community. I can't do that. I can speak at them or speak to them, but I can't speak for them. Mm -hmm. but, but for me, I look at it like this right here. These people that tap into the steppers world, that's fairly new. Five years, ten years, fifteen. That's still new to me. I don't give a damn if it's twenty years. You fairly new to me, you know. And when you come out here and you start teaching, and because you got in the world large, some people get in the world large just to say I've been in there, just so I can teach, or just to have their face clattered on the page to say I'm a teacher. See, I've been in the world large. Half of them don't know their left foot from their right foot when they dance. And then when I see them out there trying to teach, say if you had uh, a dance that was going from 8 to 10, but I'm an instructor, but I can't take you no more farther than 3. How in the hell that makes me an instructor when I can't take you no farther than this? What do I do? Do I tell you the truth? Look, I can't send you, I can't get you no farther than this point right here. Now you need to go over here and see Tick Man. Or now you need to go over here and see this. See, understand this right here. And I, yeah. and I hope all I hope all the Facebook people are listening to this right here. Yeah. Half of these goddamn instructors out here don't want nothing but your goddamn money. They don't give a damn if you learn or not. Believe me, oh. believe me when I say that. Damn because. right. It's a hustle. You can, you, can, you can get your ass, you can get 40, 50 people in your class. See, I know guys like my stuff is a little different than that. And I'm going to tell you why if I explain this right here. These guys go to these different cities. Half of their class, they just talk to you for damn then 20 minutes. 20 minutes in your class is an hour. That leaves you how many minutes now? 40 of them, okay? 40 of them, you teaching them. 40 of them, you demonstrate. Uh, another 10 of them, you demonstrate with your partner or your person that you brought in to show them what you need to learn. Now you only got 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Now that 30 minutes, I done gave you these moves or had you doing some shit you already know how to do. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, God damn it, the thing is over, the party just started, I'm on my plane, I'm gone. 
and you ain't learned the goddamn thing. You ain't contained or held on to nothing that I gave you because I just needed some money right now, and I just really needed to go. My God. You know? My God. So here's the difference in me. And anybody been in my class will tell you this right here. I don't, I can keep stepping all day long. And I can get students farther than they could with the way they teach. I choose not to because I'm getting tired of straightening up other people's mess. Oh, my God. But they can they done screwed these people up. They got these people out here dancing. I mean, don't get me wrong. If that's what it takes you to learn to dance on an eight count, and then they out here teaching you on an eight. When you look at these people dance, they look like they dance into an eight count, and they run it into their moves, and they look like little soldiers. All of them look the same. And, and it then it takes them a minute to get away from the eight count. You know, I mean, they'd probably be counted for damn than a year. But why send them through that when they didn't have to go through that? They can learn the easier way, as the damn down path. But they didn't work to this number game, and the number game got them all looking damn in the same. And they can't, some people can't too bubble gum and walk. So why are you giving them all this shit to do? Oh. Give them the simplest shit in the world to dance to. Beat, rhythm, and time. You can't do it. With, you cannot dance without them formulas right there. I don't give a damn how many numbers you put on. You cannot dance without beat, rhythm, and time. You can't even play an instrument without those formulas right there. So now when they start teaching these people, Teach these people where they can learn and hold on, and then you ain't got to walk away and be in another state. I'm telling my students, you can call me at any God-given time as long as it's at a respectable hour. And if it's something that you didn't contain, I will walk you through it. How many instructors do that? Not many. Mm-hmm. We, they just want you $20 and go on head on because that's how they live. See, I got, all, I got my own job. I got my own business. I don't need no $20 that's going to make me or break me. I got to trick you in here and give you something for half an hour, hour, and then I'm gone. I want you to learn. I'll tell them coming in the door. If you ain't trying to learn this, don't waste my time. And I also tell them when I'm teaching stuff in that eight-count shit, ball it up in your hand like you got it in your hand. Walk to the bathroom and throw it in there. If you think you need it, when you come, when you get done with me, go back in there and pick it up. I have so many people tell me, God damn, why did they learn this way at first? Tell me it looks smooth. I can take a white person with no rhythm whatsoever and tell somebody else to take a white person. You teach them their eight, I'm going to teach them rhythm, beat rhythm and time. And watch who looks better and watch who contain it quicker. Lord. I, have ne- I have never failed yet. No, I put my I put money on. I would bet anybody that you get the dance quicker, dancing to beat rhythm and time than you do with numbers. I have proved it for the for the most part of the last ten years trying to straighten up other people's work. I just stopped teaching stepping because everybody got this. Eight count shit in their head, and that's what somebody gave them. When they came out and gave them this formula, everybody need mama now teaching on eight. You got some of the best dancers out here teaching on eight because that's what they were taught to teach. God damn it, learn your own, learn your own damn way of teaching. Everybody don't know when you say two plus two is four. They must, they might want to hear. Three plus one is four. You know what I'm saying? You know, but the scary part, though, Chase, I don't want y'all to stop trying. I just said that to um, John. You guys get so, not really frustrated, but you kind of throw your hands up because we've been given so much mis, I don't say misinformation because it is information, 
but I know it makes your job a little bit harder or a lot harder. Um, yeah, a lot harder. It makes it a lot harder, but there is no way to continue this dance form uh, as raw as we want, as you guys will want it to be. Because at the end of the day, we ain't going to be here forever. You guys are not going to be here forever. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we want to try to keep it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you want to keep the dance alive, right? And you want to keep yeah. it as, as raw and as grassroots as you can. And some things that I've seen, um, and even some of the things that I was taught early on, it, it looked a mess. It looked nothing like what I see when I go to Chicago. And I'm going, oh, my God. Um, you, yeah. know, you know, even put my own city out there, some of the stuff that's going on here, we go, what in there? Girl, where did you get that from? You know, and <laughs> y'all got to come back out and teach it. And we got to listen. Period. All right. Are you agreeing? Okay. Yeah, what you say? I'm sorry, I missed the last part. I need y'all to come back out and teach it. All y'all old schoolers or legends that's on this on this live right now, I need y'all to come back out and teach it. Come on now. Y'all don't be getting frustrated and throwing your hands up. I need y'all to come on back out and teach it. And well, I need well, y'all newer people to listen. Here's the thing right here, and, and I understood when you said, see, a lot of people, they got screwed up. A lot of people have, it, you can't even tell these instructors right now. And, and like, just say, man, if I walked up to an instructor right now that calling himself or herself an instructor and say, look, there's more ways to screw a duck than one and they don't understand what I'm saying to them. There's more ways to teach this dance than an eight count. There's more ways to teach this dance than a six count. If you go to your basics, your basics are only one, two moves. One, two. That's all it is. And then when you're doing the dance, when you break it down to its form, you break the dance down to two, four, six. That eight count is not really a count, just a beat. Why do you think they had these people out here counting? And do the math. Just just take time one day yourself. I just want you to do it to yourself. Listen to your music on your radio, or on your CD player, or whatever. You hate track, I don't give a damn what it is. Just listen to it. And then remember this right here. Beat, rhythm, and time. That's three things. That's three forms. When you are counting your eight count, why is it always one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight? Right, right. Why, why are you dragging the seven, seven eight. eight? Yeah. Because there's not a goddamn beat there because three times three is nine. Right. Two times three is six. Right. And two times four is eight. Right. And in the beat of music, you get three bars, three rhythms. Yes. How the hell is you getting an eight count where you count every time a person pick up their feet? Yes. If I if I pick up my feet and shake my feet thirty times, you know what I'm gonna come back out on? I'm going to find my beat, I'm going to hit my rhythm, and I'm going to find my timing, and it's going to bring me back out on my beat, which is where I started you from. Started, right. And every goddamn teacher out there that be teaching, wow. people, feel, people fall, fall in love with what they see you do. But when you teach, why you don't teach what you do? Ooh. Why do your dance look different? from the way you teach. Because they may not be able to teach it. They, they can do it, but because maybe not be able know, to break it down. Because you know why? There's no format to your dance. When you're dancing out there just dancing with anybody, you're dancing to beat rhythm and timing then. Why do you think people are able to make shuffles and moves with their feet? Because I don't care what they do. They still got to come back out on time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. They ain't worth this shit yet. My thing is this right here. I've been skating 
before I learned how to step. And the same moves we do on skates, we do on stepping. It's the same shit. Mm-hmm. And these people just ain't really got it yet because they think that, oh, Drew came and told me I got a day at home. Hey, look, man, that young man new to the game this goddamn stuff. He's new to the game this stuff. I give it to him. He can dance, but he can't dance to me. He can dance, but he can't dance to me. This me personally. I tell him that each day of the week. I have told the man when he first started dancing, Slow down, young fella. Make your moves look good. Don't just be out there doing shit because you got signatures. You got you got camouflage moves and you got signatures moves. Mm-hmm. Now, which ones do you want to have? And where where you look like you know what you're doing, but you're just doing everything, or do you want to do it? And they can see every move that you do. He's got to get a little bit more crisp with his dance to me to make me say, now nah, he finally got it. Wow. You know, he on his, he on his way. I don't give a damn how many trophies they give him or how many trophies he think he won because he did win all of them to me. A lot of people did win a lot of them, but they got it. But then at the same token, don't get confused because you see a person win all these trophies. They're all eight the best in the world. No, he's not. No, he's not. I am not. I don't know nobody keep telling me, walking up to me, saying, man, you the best. Walk, I have it with no. They said, I'm the best in the world. Stop that lie right there. I stop you quick, fast, and hurry and change. Man, go in that old cabinet around the corner with all the smoke in there. Them motherfuckers will walk circles around my ass. So I'm not that head of about it. I'm not. I don't think I, damn, did somebody die in the family? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hey, Percy, everything all right? Huh? Oh, what are you telling me, man? Man, I would have sent y'all a a plate platter or something. I would have sent y'all a hundred pieces of wings and some of them rolls over there. Oh, I can't breathe. I'm, y'all see, I'm over here like this. Hold on one second. All right. Hold on one okay, second. Okay, we, we'll be right here. Go go take care of whoever that is, your neighbor or whatever. All right, well, I'm sorry for your loss, bro. Oh, tell them we're sorry, too. Yeah, Facebook, we're sorry. Uh, Facebook, Lady Tina, Facebook, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, We're sorry, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, Lady Tina, yeah, we're going to be on my community stuff. Check my phone, text me the number, man. I, I'll stop and pick up something and something. I'll come back. Okay. Check my phone, text me the number, man. I'll stop and pick up something and something. I'll come back. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry, baby. That, that's okay. We we we's family. We good. I, you, I yeah. I just want to let you know you don't basically have blown my sides off. I had hair. I actually had some hair <laughs> when I started the show today, but you don't blew the sides. I had I lit, literally. Uh, I'm I had sorry, hair. baby. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. It's just that these people just be really just. Uh, you know, and 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 that's a good thing. You know what? I'm kind of glad. Have this little show it's that's going that's to that's 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 grow to be bigger. It's going to grow. Let me tell you something. Thank you. I see shit before. I see shit when it happened and before it happened. Thank you. When I see something good, this, what you're doing right now, thank you. It's going to take off. It's going to take off and it's going to be bigger. Thank you. It's going to be bigger than that. I and then that. You, 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 you don't be surprised if you got a. Real live talk show. Well, I received that. I think I can handle it. I've been through a lot, that's for sure. I had to leave some fold <laughs> drops and fold towels. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> just like I tell, just you. like I tell people about stepping. Don't worry your damn self. Let it come to you. It'll that's come right. to you. Thank you. Well, hopefully my yeah. hopefully my tea sippers will come right along with me, and I believe that they will. Y'all, <laughs> would y'all right. come with me? Whatever God has for me, it definitely is for me. But I believe my T-Sipples will come right on along with me. 
I heard that. Well, you know what a lot of these people probably is even in they dance and I listen to them. I look at them, you know, and I, I have fun watching other people dance. You know, I mean, it'd be some funny ones. It'd be some hilarious ones. I'd be ones. I'd be wanting to say, don't do that movie no more because that don't look like you and it don't look becoming, you know. Or I'd be looking at people dance and I'd say, that was cute. And yeah, do she know she really did that right there? And if she don't ever do it again, she just slipped in on it. She got away with it. What people are dancing to, some of the damn people don't even know the damn words of the song. Or they don't even know the music of the song. I mean, it's just out there dancing. And then I have to ask myself, damn, do they listen to the same song I'm listening to? Wow. Listen, start listening to the lyrics. Start listening to the music and put it all together because when you do that right there, guess what's going to happen? It's going to make your dance look better because now the music is telling, the, the words and music are telling a story. Mm-hmm. You have to dance to that story. You can't just be out there dancing because you hear boom, 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 and that's all you hear. You don't hear none of the words that that young lady just saying in that song to make the music. Start dancing to the song, not just dancing. It'll make it, it'll make it a hell of a lot better. So. Let me ask you this. I don't know how many um, legends or, or, and I know you guys don't really like getting into all those titles, heavy hitters, legends, all that crap. Mm. I know you say y'all don't really like all that, all that stuff. But uh, Bree, are you available to go on? Send me a request. Because Bree, you know, I mean, you've been needing to talk for a while and then we're going to get off this live because I, I got stuff I need to do. But how would y'all feel about some type of Legends tour? Somebody just suggested that, a Legends tour for 2019. You guys go around uh, and teach. How Would would you be open to something like that? Well, you know what? I'm going to say it like this right here. If they do a tour, you got to think about it. Half these people out here ain't got jobs and don't want to go nowhere free. Half of us got jobs and we can't just afford to just take off at random like that, you know. I mean, it's not saying that it can't be done, but then nobody wants to do something for nothing. I don't give a damn who it is. They just don't go around and the world just teaching. They looking for their palms to get great green. Honestly, that's just like bringing their structure down. But then they need to get it together where you can afford these people to set them down. Because I'm going to show you, to answer that question real good for you, I'm going to show you something. When I really first started doing, want to do, step again, I really literally did his research. He sat down with me. Kurt White and Ty Boo and myself in Atlanta for about the party in the inside didn't even really matter to us right then and there because we were sitting on the outside for about two hours talking on how to make something work. Sure enough, he made it work. He went out what we said, what we thought, along with his thoughts. We put it all together. We came up with a formula. When he, I read, did all access, instead of the people, instead of the instructors had to come to them, they had to come to the instructors. Mm. He had damn been 15 instructors there. You didn't have to pay. You paid for the party, but you didn't have to pay for no instructor out there. Just go learn. If you want to go learn over here, go learn over there. Go make this. He had a school and empty out 15 rooms and every instructor had their own room in a school now. And those people came in and got what they wanted, got what they needed, and if they didn't find it there, they walked it across the hall in 101. That's how he did that. And to show you how it was. Do you know each one of them classes? Everyone but mine. 
had damn been 40 or 50 people in it. Wow. My class was the only class that had 186 people in it. Oh, wow. Proven fact. I had to get three and Kurt, when they was married, to come help me teach because I had such a loud, uh, a large class. Wow. And we all, nice. we all did, we all three did it together. Nice. That, that's how serious it was. Nice. See, everybody, everybody ain't taking to, okay, uh, Drew coming down. Some people might not want to learn a dance like Drew. They might want to dance like Kate. They may want something different. But, well, yeah, it was something different. But if you have a variety of people, the variety of people will, uh, will, you know, have give them something to choose from. Well, you know what, Chase? I got another person that wants to add to this live. I have appreciated this call with you. Y'all show some okay. love to Chase. I'm looking okay. for me. Listen, I heard you offer somebody some cakes and some rib plates and stuff. I have not had an opportunity to try your food. Hey, wait a minute. Tell people about yeah. your restaurant and how they can, hey, do that. Name your restaurant oh, and all okay. that. Do that real quick. Okay, well, we got two locations. We got one that's open now. Doing a do, we're doing a build out on it called Off the Bone. Okay. On Central and Compton Boulevard in Los Angeles and Compton, California. Okay. Our second one, our second restaurant we're opening up is uh is on Manchester and Hallsdale. Okay. It's called Wendy. It's called Wendy City Remus. Nice. We specialize in all Chicago style food from steak burgers, combination beef sandwiches, Jewtown polishes, rib rib tips, briskets, stuff like that. Nice. Our grand opening is at the end of this month. Nice. It's on Manchester and Hallsdale down from down the street from the new football stadium. Nice. Across the street from uh, Louisiana Chicken. I'm trying to run them out of business. I like so, it. Okay. Yeah, can check me out. Look for more details. Keep, uh, keep your eye uh, informed yes, along will. with myself. I will. Thank you so much. So, I appreciate it. And I appreciate that too. And the next time we get on here, Chief, we're going to talk about this. Uh, these new cops we got out here, they call fashion cops. Oh, we, walk around and, we walk around and get tickets on anybody that's dressed the way they shouldn't be dressed. Oh. So, yeah. Be careful what you be careful what you're wearing now. We we giving out tickets now. We giving out fashion <laughs> tickets. So if somebody walk up to you and hand you a ticket, don't be getting upset because somebody told you. Shouldn't have had all them color shoes or those type of shoes with that type of dress. Don't even get so, mad. Don't even get mad because some fashion cops gonna start walking around there. <laughs> well, I appreciate you so much. You go on with your day. I love you. Can keep doing what you're doing. T Sippers, I think that's it for today. I am tired. I'm tired of y'all. How about that? No, I'm just kidding. kidding. I love you. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much, Chase. Go on with your day. No, I love you. Me. Thank you. All right, baby. All right. 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 When I'm coming back, I'm on my good and mob right now. I don't know why I'm on good and mob today, but I am. You ever see that stuff to do? I love y'all. Yeah, I get the too. Love y'all. Enjoy your day. Did you say you're going to get a bunch of tickets? Don't get a whole bunch of tickets. Oh. Just get you a good friend. Just ask you. Did you catch that phone call? Oh, wow. Love y'all. Peace out, Bree. Okay, wait a minute. Before I go any further.
satisfied. You're not going to get caught up in Don't be scared to come on my show. I would not do that to you. I would not ever do that to you, Bree. Don't be afraid. And don't, don't be saying that. You're not going to get caught up in my wrath. It's just the people that don't tell the truth. I love you too, Keisha. It's just the folk that don't be telling the truth that get caught up in it. Bye, Cheryl. Love you too. <laughs> Bye, y'all.
we supposed to be hung up, but I told y'all to hang up first. Y'all won't hang up. Fine. But the bottom line is, <sighs> we still we've sister. been all. <laughs>
hang up first. Why oh, I got this feeling that y'all ain't gonna hang up unless I hang up. Oh, listen. It's a whole album. We are not getting ready to listen to the whole Aretha Franklin album together. Don't play that. Wait a minute. We did have this request. Right, these credits too long. <laughs> right, y'all asking for one ghost. <laughs> Don't know what I just said. I'm thinking of you. This is my one cut right here. Mm -hmm. 
Desiree, we just did a whole show, mama. This is just a close out. This is a close out. DJ Skills. I'm going to have to go because apparently Warner Brothers own this one because I just got the warning. I love you guys so very much. Hopefully you have enjoyed that Riri segment. We out of here. We out of here. Did y'all enjoy that? Let me get some love. Let me get some hearts. We're really going to hang up now. We really are. We really, really are going to hang up now. <laughs> I love you guys for the continued support. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys got something out of today. I think we got some things accomplished. John Seegers, thank you again for talking and speaking on behalf of Houston. Um, hopefully we got something. Hopefully they. Hopefully we can bridge that gap and keep that together uh, and continue to grow this dance. Because that's at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do is grow the dance. Uh, I have not given up on this Legends Tour. Hopefully it's something we can pull together. You never know. Um, all right. Love you guys. Enjoy your Saturday. And party. Sip, sip. Bye.